So Sarah, in the previous video, we talked about survival job, how to stay positive or have the spirits up. But we know that sometimes it's difficult. For me, I would say my first job was a warehouse job, but you know, from six to three, and then I go home and I was networking, I'm going event, but it has a tone on its yourself. And again, as you mentioned previously, put the ego aside or things like that, but still, it's difficult. In your expertise, do you have any specific tips on how people can stay positive? So um, there are two parts where we need to stay positive. There's the first part, which is during the job search journey. And then there's that part when, let's say, if we, didn't, if we do not get the ideal job we're looking yes. for. So shall I focus on the first part? Yes, let's focus on the first part, yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So during the job search, especially as we're navigating a new market, uh, one thing that will help us to be positive is, again, understanding fully the market. So we manage our expectations and our mindset. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if I am very clear about the situation, learning from other people experiences, but not projecting them on, on myself, of course, but learning, hearing other people's stories, uh, understanding the expected challenges and what could happen, let's say, maybe uh, tentatively, like, you know, or potentially in six months, if I didn't find mm -hmm. a job, this all will help me in how to manage my frustration if I get into the frustration phase, yeah. which most likely a lot of people really get into. Yeah. Um, so that is the first part. Now, I usually, when I work with my clients, I go in details uh, through the change management cycle, mm. which is, it's it's a lot of, um, I would say, uh, mental exercises. Yes. Uh, it's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. However, the, ac the, the, the acceptance uh, is key yes. during that uh, uh, job search journey. So accepting the now, accepting the situation I am in, a putting myself a timeline longer mm -hmm. than the ideal timeline of finding a job and also uh, putting extra effort in networking. Yes. So the more I see people, the more I engage with as well with the community around me, uh, exploring as well some uh, let's say volunteering jobs that will help me to integrate better and build a stronger network or wider network. These are some, uh, I would say, tips or steps I can take to keep me away from the negativity or keep me away from getting into that, uh, uh, let's say, depression. The other aspect is seeking a mentor. Mm -hmm. A mentor could be, and if, if someone cannot afford a career coach, that's totally okay. But yeah. a mentor could be uh, someone who has been in that experience before you. Uh, so you actually uh, build a trust relationship with them. You can ask them for feedback. You can ask them like about some resources even to share with you. Yeah. A mentor could be as well someone from the same industry you mm -hmm. are seeking, or maybe an association uh, of your field that you become a member in and you start to engage with their activities, yeah. events, and so on. So there is, uh, there are different uh, avenues of where to find a mentor during that process. And a mentor is someone who will actually even um, hold your hand in downtime. So yeah. I definitely encourage that to keep you I keep tell my clients like, positive. have a schedule, you know, don't apply on 24 seven, you know, Monday mornings, maybe networking, Monday afternoon, maybe, as you mentioned, mentoring, maybe Tuesday morning, go for out go for a walking, maybe Tuesday afternoon, meet a friend for a coffee, have a conversation. So have a variety of things. And again, volunteering is important. Networking is key, especially people from Middle East. They don't understand the power of networking, which might be talked about in the previous, in the next videos. So that's yeah. key. And then especially also other things, uh, celebrate small wins. You got an interview or you got yeah, I love that. interview or even something small because the mind, as you mentioned, needs that positive endorsement because otherwise you can be very much in downfall. I understand from my point of view is that I put myself when I came, I said, I'm going to give myself one year and I start networking. Mm -hmm. I did a survival job and I went to school and I went this and I went that. So there were a variety of things and help, uh, that helped me, which is very key, I believe, especially when coming to yeah. you.
Oh, definitely. You mentioned a, a very important point, uh, which is uh, the schedule. Yes. So if, if uh, and again, since if, if we are, especially like when you are without a job, mm -hmm. you have that uh, luxury of time. Yes. So having that schedule and investing your day, whether, as you said, attending conferences, events, workshops, and so on, that is very important as well to keep yourself busy. Mm -hmm. um, and again, uh, a walk, especially in the nice, I would yes. say neighborhoods uh, of Canada, wherever we are, yes, yes. is definitely uh, yes. something that can uh, yes. give you a, a peace of mind. So yes, having a schedule and being accountable to it. Accountability, yes. I use it a lot as well with my clients when I work with them mm -hmm. because I always tell them, it's you who would do things, not yes. me. I will give you all the guidance, the coaching, yes. the tools, the resources. But if you yourself, you're not on top of it and you're not like you know, uh, focus on it, the work. no one will help you. You need yeah. to help yourself yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. So definitely the schedule will definitely help. I totally agree with you. Again, thank you for those great tips, Sarah. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below and tune in next time for other great questions with Sarah.